This is the Horse Radio Network. Greetings, everyone. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily, episode 1364, where Christy Landwehr and Terry Williams talk about dealing with a horse who likes to duck into the center of the arena, a favorite among crafty school horses. This tip is an excerpt from the monthly Certified Horsemanship Association episode on Horses in the Morning, and it's brought to you today by Omega Alpha Equine. Omega Alpha specializes in natural formulations for enhancing equine health and performance, and they know how much personality and behavior can factor in the quality of our relationship, whether we're an Olympic-level competitor or modest weekend warrior. That's why they've created three different all-natural formulas to help us get the most out of our horse-to-human relationship. Chill Liquid, formulated especially for horses with pre-performance jitters. Chill Ultra Paste, with the added benefits of B1 and magnesium. And Premier, the hormone balancer for witchy mares. And you know who you are. Look for all of Omega Alpha's all-natural formulas at your local tack and feed supplier, or you can visit them online at Omega alphaequine.com What do you specifically like to do to help those riders whose horses like to drop their shoulders and dive into the middle of the arena? And I tell you, I got one of those. It's called the lesson horse, right? Let's go see the instructor in the center. I don't want to do this anymore on the rail. I I think that dropping your shoulder, I mean, I find it one of the easiest ones to correct, you know, with the students that I've had. Um, Basically, you have to develop that inside leg for one thing. Um, When we start teaching riders, we tend to ride with the outside rein and we forget about the inside leg to keep the horse on the rail. And also by riding the outside leg, you're, you know, predisposing him to dropping that shoulder. Um, So as an instructor, you know, of, of students that have shown, you always say, ride your corners, ride your corners. Well, a lot of people don't define what that is. So when the horse drops his shoulder, um, he's putting all his weight on his inside shoulder, and actually he can come in, like you said, which is another issue in itself. But we're just going to do with dropping the shoulder first. Um, so usually if you watch the, watch the rider riding, um, look at the horses that drop their shoulders. A lot of times you'll see the rider drop their shoulder. So the rider is off weight too. So to fix the rider, first of all, you have them step into the outside stirrup a little more in the corners, make sure the inside leg is on the corner, and then to keep the horse from dropping the shoulder, you just lift that inside rein, and how I was taught was you think about lifting it towards your outside shoulder, which is an extreme visual. It's not quite that far. It's more like an indirect rein, and then you ride your corner. So you basically, you're picking up the shoulder every time you come to the corner. Now, the other problem that you said is a separate problem to running into the center is because when we teach, we tend to bring the horses in the center when you're done. Um, so as an instructor, you should be stopping them different places, like even stop them on the rail at the end of the lesson, and then I'll quit having them come in. Or if you're teaching where you have part of the class on the inside, you know, sitting in the inside, that's just predisposing you to teach the horse to come in because they're a herd animal. They want to be with other horses. So when I teach, you know, group riding lessons, I don't usually have my horses in the center. I have those horses on the rail, and I have the rider that I'm working with, you know, more individually riding on the inside. So you might have three to four horses, you know, on the rail, and then one person tracking on the inside to fix the problem. That'll keep them out on the rail, too. But basically, it's a lack of that inside leg is why they're diving in. That's a wrap. Thank you again to Omega Alpha for sponsoring this show. You can find them online at omegaalpha.com. You can find lots more tips at horsetipdaily.com. Go there. We have over 1,300 of them. This is Coach Jen, and I will be back again soon with another tip. So until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements made by guests on the Horse Tip Daily. Please use your own judgment when listening to the tips on this show. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around for the after the credits barn hack. To keep your hose in the water trough, one of their favorite things to do is take it out, it seems. You can tie it to the vertical post nearby. You can use a large spring clamp from the hardware store. Clamp it to the side of the trough or to the fence. 
You can also tie a string betwixt the hose and a heavy weight, which is submerged in said trough. Try this one. Toss a few things that float into the water trough. Rubber duckies come to mind. Some horses just want to play with something. And my favorite one of all is try putting a recirculating or fountain style pump made for small ponds in your water trough. I say small because they come in all sizes and you don't want to have a geyser. You just want to have the water moving around and perhaps with a gentle bubbling spring popping out over the top. FYI, keep an eye on your horses because there are a few horses in the universe that will positively refuse to drink out of a trough that has moving water, but it has been my experience that most horses actually prefer it. Best of luck.